The Fox and the Mask A fox had some means, got into the storeroom of a theater. Suddenly he observed a face glaring down on him and became very frightened. But looking more closely he found it was only a mask, such as the type actors used to put over their face. Ah, said the fox. You look very fine. It's a pity you haven't got any brains. Morale of this story is. Outside show is a poor substitute for inner worth. so heartless and you don't care and i don't even know what i've been fighting for you got me hoping the story of two crabs one fine day two crabs came out from their home to take a stroll on the sand child said the mother you are walking ungracefully you should accustom yourself to walking straight forward without twisting from side to side Pray, mother, said the young one. Do but set the example yourself, and I will follow you. Morale of the story is. Example is the best precept. The Wolf and the Kid A kid was perched on the top of a house, and looking down, saw a wolf passing under him. Immediately, he began to revile and attack his enemy. Murderer and thief. He cried. Why are you here, near honest folks' houses? How dare you make an appearance where your vile deeds are known? Curse away, my young friend, said the wolf. It's easy to be brave from a safe distance. Morale of the story is. It's easy to be brave from a safe distance. The Fisher and the Little Fish It happened that a fisher, after fishing all day, caught only a small fish. Let me go, master, said the fish. I am much too small for your eating just now. If you put me back in the river, I shall soon grow, then you can catch me and make a fine meal of me. Nay, nay, my little fish, said the fisher. I have you now. I may not catch you hereafter. Teaching of the story is. A little thing in hand is worth more. Than a great thing in prospect. The Heart and the Hunter The heart was once drinking from a pool and admiring the noble figure he made there. Ah, said he. Where can you see such noble horns as these? With such antlers. But I wish I had legs more worthy to bear such a noble crown. It's a pity these legs are so slim and slight. At that moment a hunter approached, and sent an arrow whistling after him. Away bounded the heart, and soon, by the aid of his nimble legs, was nearly out of sight of the hunter. But not noticing where he was going, the hart passed under some trees with branches growing low, in which his antlers got caught so that the hunter had time to catch up. Alas! Alas! cried the entangled hart. We often despise what is most useful to us. Teaching of the story is, we often despise. What is most useful to us? The Man and the Wood A man came in a forest one day with an axe in his hand and begged all the trees to give him a small branch, which he wanted for a particular purpose. 
The trees were good-natured and gave him one of their branches. The man put the branch into an axe head and soon set to work cutting down trees after tree. Then the trees swa how foolish they had been in giving their enemy the means of destroying themselves. Teaching of the story is Beware what you give to future enemies. The Serpent and the File A serpent in the course of its wandering came into an armorer's shop. As he glided over the floor he felt his skin pricked by a file lean there. In a rage turned upon it. And tried to dart his fangs into it. But he could do no harm to the heavy iron. And had soon to give over his wrath. Teaching of the story is. It is useless attacking the insensible. The Peacock and Hera A peacock once placed a petition before Hera, desiring to have a voice of a nightingale in addition to his other attraction. But Hera refused his request. When he persisted and pointed out that he was her favorite bird, she said, Be content with your lot. One cannot be first in everything. Teaching of the story is, One cannot be first in everything that The Fox and the Grapes One hot summer's day a fox was strolling through an orchard till he came to a branch of grapes, just ripening on a vine which had been trained over a lofty branch. At just the thing to quench my thirst, said the fox. Drawing back a few paces, he took a run and jump, but just missed the brunch. Turning round again with a one, two, three, he jumped up but with no greater success. Again and again he tried after the tempting morsel, but at last had to give up. As the fox walked away with his nose in the air, he said, I am sure they are sour. Morale of the story is, it is easy to despise what you cannot get. The Wolf in the Sheep's Clothing a wolf found great difficulty in getting at the sheep due to the vigilance of the shepherd and the dogs. But one day it found the skin of a sheep. That had been flayed and thrown aside. So the wolf put it on over its own pelt. And strolled down among the sheep. The lamb that belonged to the sheep. Whose skin the wolf was wearing. Began to follow the wolf in the sheep's clothing. So, leading the lamb a little apart. He soon made a meal of her. And for some time after he succeeded in deceiving the sheep. And enjoying hearty meals. Morale of the story is. Appearance can be deceptive. The Four Oxen and the Lion A lion used to prowl about a field in which four oxen used to dwell. Many a time he tried to attack them, but whenever he came near, they turned tails to one another, so that whichever way he approached them, he was met by the horns of one of them. At last, however, they began quarreling among themselves, and each went off to pasture alone in a separate corner of the field. Then the lion attacked them on by one, and soon made an end of all four. Teaching of the story is, United we stand, divided we fall. The Tortoise and the Birds A tortoise desired to change its place of residence. So it asked an eagle to carry him to his new home promising a rich reward for her trouble. The eagle agreed and seizing the tortoise by its shell, with her talons, soared aloft. 
on Thier way they met a crow, who said to the eagle tortoise are good eating. The shell is too hard, said the eagle in reply. Those rocks would crack the shell. The crow answered. The eagle taking the hint, let fall the tortoise on a sharp rock. And the two birds made a heavy meal of the tortoise. Teaching of the story is. Never soar aloft on an enemy's wings. The Eagle and the Arrow An eagle was soaring through the air when suddenly it heard the whiz of an arrow and felt itself wounded to death. Slowly it fluttered down to the earth, with its lifeblood pouring out it. Looking down upon the arrow with which it had been pierced, it found that the shaft of the arrow had been feathered with one of its own plumes. Alas, it cried, as it died. We often give our enemies the means for our own destruction. Teaching of the story is. We often give our enemies the means for our own destruction. The Ass and the Lion's Skin An ass once found a lion's skin, which the hunters had left out in the sun, to dry. The ass put it on, and went towards his native village. All fled at his approach. Both men and animals. And he was proud that day. In his delight, he lifted up his voice and brayed. But then everyone knew him. And his owner came up and given him appreciation for the fright he had caused. And shortly afterwards, a fox came up to him and said, Ah, I knew you by your voice. Morale of the story is. Fine clothes may disguise. But silly words will disclose a fool. The Trumpeter Taken Prisoner a trumpeter during a battle ventured too near the enemy and was captured by them. They were about to proceed to put him to death when he begged them to hear his plea for mercy. I do not fight, said he, and indeed carry no weapon. I only blow this trumpet, and surely that cannot harm you. Then why should you kill me? You may not fight yourself, said the others but you encourage and guide your men to the fight. Teaching of the story is. Words may be deeds. <laughs>